Should you 3D print or injection mold your plastic component? It's a simple question with an answer that has become increasingly more complex in recent years. So today let's break down the many variables that you want to consider when making your decision. As 3D printing technology has developed in recent years, the difference between these two manufacturing options has decreased significantly. But the two core variables at the center of this decision always come down to cost and production requirements. Starting on the 3D printing side of things, the first obvious advantage is that 3D printing typically has a lower cost of entry since there is no costly injection mold required to produce your end component. You can simply upload your part design to a 3D printer in a compatible format and in most cases have a finished part within a matter of hours. Additionally, this means that making changes to your design is significantly easier when compared to making revisions to a steel mold. And then of course, there's the fact that some designs may be impossible to produce with traditional injection molding due to specific geometric requirements. Now, of course, there are many clever workarounds in the injection molding world to accommodate as many geometric variables as possible, but the cost of those tool sets and different variables can add up very quickly. And even then, some part geometries may only be possible using 3D printing. Now, on the flip side of that coin, while the total timeline of a project from idea to finished good may be reduced significantly with 3D printing, when strictly looking at the production time itself, 3D printing still falls far behind traditional injection molding, even with the recent advancements in 3D printing technology. A component that could be produced in a matter of seconds on an injection molding machine could still take hours on a 3D printer, and unless you're looking at the latest and greatest in 3D printing technology, which as you can imagine can get very expensive very quickly, most commercial printers are only able to print a few components at once, and when it comes to producing larger plastic components, this is often impossible with 3D printing without highly specialized hardware. Now, until recently, 3D printed components did have a stigma of rough and imprecise finishes, but as I've talked about, the technology has come a long way in recent years, and these components can now be incredibly close to traditional injection molding in terms of their precision, and in many cases, you can have a specific surface finish or texture right off of the printer that would be difficult and costly to replicate with injection molding. But once again, there is a cost associated with that level of precision. All right, switching over to the injection molding side of things, before we get to deciding which option is best, obviously the biggest advantage of injection molding is the ability to mass produce a high volume of parts. Not only are average cycle times significantly lower on an injection molding machine when compared to your average 3D printer, but most high volume molds will have multiple cavities that in some cases can produce hundreds of components in one cycle. Even with the technological advancements in the 3D printing world, allowing for larger production runs, it still pales in comparison to the production capabilities of a conventional injection molding machine. Additionally, injection molded components are on average much stronger than a 3D printed component in most cases, since precise processes can be used to monitor the cooling times and temperatures, part density, specific fill patterns, material requirements, and the list goes on. And then of course, there's the factor of reduced waste. Now, this one could be used as an advantage for both production methods, but usually an injection mold will have a runner, which can sometimes be recycled, or if using a hot runner system, there's virtually no waste involved in the injection molding process. Yes, there are now 3D printing processes that allow for minimal waste, but conventional printing methods often utilize costly support material that must be carefully removed after each production run and cannot be recycled once it is cured by the UV lamp. So this all sounds well and good for injection molding, but as we talked about earlier, it does typically involve a large upfront cost for the injection mold design and tool build. This also means that once the mold is produced, making revisions is more difficult than simply adjusting a CAD file and reprinting the new component. And lastly, there are of course maintenance costs associated with an injection mold that are necessary in order to keep that mold running reliably for years to come. All right, so that was a lot 
lot of information and variables, so how can you decide which one is right for your components? Well, naturally, every situation is going to be a little bit different, but as a general rule of thumb, 3D printing is a viable option for low production runs, which we would usually classify as hundreds to potentially a few thousand parts, but anything beyond that would be incredibly costly and time consuming when looking at 3D printing. Additionally, if you are in the prototyping phase and you know that there will be a number of revisions to your part design, then 3D printing is a fantastic option that can bridge the gap between that prototyping phase and full-scale production. Injection molding, on the other hand, is obviously the better option for those larger production runs that involve tens of thousands to even millions of parts each year. But you may still be unsure which option is best for you, and the good news is this doesn't have to be an either-or decision. By carefully selecting a manufacturing partner, which you can learn more about in this video, you have the best of both worlds and are able to leverage the prototyping and cost-saving advantages of 3D printing at the beginning, and when you're ready, that same manufacturing partner can help design a mold for repeatable and reliable manufacturing of your components and ultimately ramp up to full-scale production. Both manufacturing methods serve a purpose, and that's why we strategically leverage both of them here at Crescent Industries. So if you would like to learn more about the many manufacturing options that we offer and which one might be the best option for your component and project, then be sure to reach out to us using the contact information down below. As always, thank you so much for your time and we look forward to helping bring your idea to life.